Hello, my name's Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm using um, doing a tutorial of Photoshop to make sort of these genetic photos. Basically, in school today, uh, this week, we're making genetic portraits. Um, but these were basically inspired by this guy. He was a Canadian photographer named Yorich Coletti, which I probably butchered his name. But he's got some very well done images that he's just sort of meshed together. And mine won't be nearly as good as his, but just you know what we're inspired by so I felt like it was worth mention this is my project it's all done it's on um, my sister and I mesh together I'm gonna be showing you how to do that so first you want to take these pictures like take a picture of both you and someone else that you're related to the same distance away with the same lighting on the same background during the same time of day wearing the same stuff in this case we just didn't have anything on our shoulders but then you want to open those folders or open those pictures just using control, holding down control. And they'll show up in two separate tabs. So you can see them both. And then what I did was is I selected it using this tool and just copied the whole thing. I actually think I copied myself onto Lily because I can move Lily around. So Lily's my sister's name. And then I went to edit, copy, and then edit paste. So don't need this picture anymore. Now, basically, we have two layers, me and then my sister. If you click the little eye icon, it makes it disappear. And I double clicked on, because this, this one's locked. So basically, if you double click on it and click OK, it unlocks it. So now both layers are freeform there, or not freeform, they're unlocked. Um, next, what you need to do is click this button down here, sort of a shortcut way to do it. Or you can go layer, 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 mask, and then reveal all. And it'll have like a little white screen here. I need to hold down Alt and click it so you just get this white screen. Now this screen is sort of controlling this picture in a way. Um, next you want to go to your gradient tool. And you really need to decide what half of your face you want gone. Um, oops, that was control. Yeah. See, I don't want to do that. But anyway, Alt. Um, gradient tool. You gotta decide what side of your picture you don't want anymore. Um, holding down shift while you do this um, actually makes the line straight. Hey now, why are you doing this? Oh wait, I'm just going the right side. I don't know why it's controlling the gradient backwards, but I sort of played around with this for a bit, deciding exactly where I wanted it and what parts I wanted gray and whatnot. And then you can check back on your layer and you can see where it lines up and whatnot. And then using the move tool, you can sort of move yourself to I know, sort of fit in with the other half. I was moving my sister though, so I did do this backwards. And then if you go to layer, oh wait, I mean edit. And then free transform. You can sort of grab at the sides and make yourself better to fit. It does take some playing around with and some give and take. I did end up like giving up some of my qualities to match some of my sisters. And there's our glasses matching up. Or my glasses, I should say. But our lips don't seem to want to match up quite correctly. And that looks just about right. Just about what went on. And then. I want to apply transformation. Kind of want to get rid of this like weird line that's around everything. So now I've moved it and everything's all wrong. All right, next you kind of want to go in and I guess fine tune. Like, see, there's clearly a shadow of my nose over my sister's nose. So I just kind of took this little band aid. What? Opaque pixels. I feel like it has something to do with that little line over everything. Is there not enough opaque pixels in this? Hmm. Maybe if I select this. I just kind of went like this a few times because it just sort of takes the color of wherever you drag and brings it over. So yeah, I know it's not perfect, but it's a bit better. I checked out, you know, the rim of my glasses. I might have edited that a bit. But yeah. Well, I might go in on my where our lips match up because they clearly don't actually match up. Just kinda 
bring some of Lily's colored lips over to mine. So it's not as much of a difference. So these are just nitpicky things. Um, basically the reason that I did it this way was because I didn't actually want the big line through the middle of the face that you get when you just copy and paste the image. But that's more or less it. And then I would trim off this bottom layer because it obviously doesn't match up. Just trim that off. There you go. My sister and I splurged together or whatever. Um, so yeah. I don't actually know much about Photoshop yet. But I just crop it to be like that size. And you have your picture. Um, yeah, so as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, click like. If you use, if you're from, I don't know, if you feel like subscribing to me, subscribe to me. I don't do tutorials often, though, so I feel weird telling people to, like, subscribe to me when I do tutorials because I totally don't do them as often as I should because I don't know how to do stuff that well. My hair is showing through over here. I could fix that, but I'm lazy. But, yes, this is it. Um, thank you for watching. Bye!